First, in this video, I'm going to review the basic blocks and how you can use them um, to defend yourself in a basic attack situation. So we're going to go over a couple of the blocks. First, first we're going to do high block. So he attacks, I do a high block, elbow, and then from here, I'll take him down and punch. Enough? First, now, another one, high block. He attacks, high block, reverse punch. So I, all I'm doing is I'm just pulling his arm back and punching him. So without doing anything complicated like the first one. He attacks, inside block, punch. First, or he attacks, I go to the outside, do inside block, and punch. First, so it doesn't have to be complicated like the first one. It can be as simple as that. He attacks. I do an inside block, and then I do a low block. So do you see? This would be the low block, right? I'm attacking to his kidney now. So, or he attacks, I do a low block, low block to the kidney, you go back, and then tone him, tone him backwards. So now that makes it a little bit more complicated. Those. So it can be simple, or you can add a couple of other components. Let's do outside block. So he attacks, I do an inside block, and I do an outside block to his neck. Or he attacks, I do an outside block, and I do a punch, and then I tone. Does that make sense? First, so you can take the blocks, you can use them in a basic level, or you can move them to advanced level. But your block has to work. You have to actually put it in your mind and say to yourself, what is my intent? Well, your intent is to use a block, not get hit, and finish it with a technique that comes to you naturally. First, 